Welcome to Sunday League, but on a Saturday. And today isn't a match in the league because it's a cup match, but welcome all the same. New Town Forest are today's opponents, they are in the league above so a tough game was expected. Especially since the manager was working with a bare bones squad as a few boys were busy with work and other commitments. Vice Vice Captain Murso was called up to the bench, even though he spent the week on the lash in Liverpool. The opening moments were scrappy, or maybe just scrap, with chances few and far between. But it wasn't as scrap as Jake's luck at the moment, as he got injured on his home debut. Set pieces and long ball seemed to be the way through. Forrest unlucky there. Steven Simpson was playing in center back, but briefly turned into Bobby Moore. Simpson, eh? How very strange. Forrest then became the first team to string two passes together in one of the moves of the game. The finish, however, wasn't cricket. Simpy was at it again, this time giving the striker a chance before taking him out with a wonder tackle. Carodor's best chance came from one of their many corners, Chrissy Flynn unlucky. With Carodor firing blanks, Murso thought he would give a Forest player a chance at scoring for us. From the resulting corner Carador carved another chance. Forcing a great save from the Forest player, too bad it wasn't their keeper. Somehow the referee failed to see it, no penalty. The first half was nearly over, but Simpy still had time to act the hero once more. The second half was as scrappy as the first. But with legs tiring chances began to fall to each team, Matty somehow missing after great work from English Mark. Carador began piling on the pressure, but the ball just wouldn't find a way in. Forest were equally as poor at finishing. The game picked up and both teams started to look like they wanted a win. Maybe because nobody wanted extra time, as that would mean less time in the pub. Brandon and Ryan Lee both unlucky. Carador continued to batter the opposition. Sean Gill just seeing his effort blazed over the bar. Matty was also unlucky with his effort. After about what seemed to be three years, someone hit the target. Great save though. With only five minutes left to play, Bennett Lee had the chance to win the game. What was to happen next was devastating. Simpy after having the game of his life, flicked on a long ball to set up a forest player, who buried it into the net. 1-0. This image sums up Carador's day.
and with that the final whistle was blown. Unlucky lads, and good luck to Newtown Forest.